All right, so whenever we want to implement the you know context API inside our React application, then first we need to write the provider. So for that, what I will do for a better uh, directory structure, I will define a you know folder, and inside this folder, I will write a provider.js. Right. So the first step is to write a you know create context method. So I will be defining a constant variable with the name of ctx equal to and then create context right and inside this create context we define a uh, initial value uh, inside the first argument so you can define it as null right then what we will do we will create a component right so this one is going to be a provider component and let's just name it as you know context provider ctx provider right all right so in this uh you know functional component you can write all the logic or all the functions or use state or states you want to define you want to share across the react application so for example what i want i want to write a use state and that use state contains the to-do list and i want to share that to-do list uh, along across the you know React application. So for that, let's come over here and import the React Perl, use it first, and then to do's. Inside this to do's, I would define like first, second, third. All right. Uh, so, next thing uh, we will do uh, inside the JSX, we need to define the provider with something like this ctx well basically this is the ctx coming from the create context right and then we write provider and inside this we can pass the children props so why the children props basically on the next step after the after the creation of this provider we will wrap the whole react application inside the create context so obviously uh, we will we will be wrapping the whole you know react application for example i will be wrapping an app component then that app component will become a children for this component right so this is why we will be you know getting a children prop so let me just restructure it all right so this ctx dot provider takes a props this is a required prop inside this value whatever you will pass this will be you know shared across your whole, whole react application so what i need to do i need to pass this to do's and set to do's right so let me just come over here and create a function like add to do and this one is going to be like this set to do's Or you can say, oh, yeah, well, and I will be writing something like this dot to do because we want to maintain the old state as well, first, second, and third as well. So for that, we are using the SPAD operators, and after that, we can define well, right? So what we will do, we will pass an object, and the first element we will you know pass the to do's of from the use state and in the second of, of element we will be passing the add to do function right so we are done with the first part now the second part is to come inside the index.js and wrap our whole application inside this provider so for that I what I will do ctx provider app that is it so this is done our second part is done now you have successfully implemented the context api inside your react application now you can be able to fetch this to do's and this add to do method inside any of your react components so let me come over here inside the src and create a child.js right so rfce 
so I can be able to fetch all the details from the provider component. So how can we do that? Well, for that we use the use context hook in a very simple way. You use context enable us to fetch all the values we are passing from the provider component like these these values use context us enable you know use context enable us to fetch all these values which we are passing from this provider component to our component so let's just import use context first all right and then we will use the use context snippet and inside the use context argument right inside the use to context method you will be passing a create context method so we have already defined a create context so let's just come over here and export it and this should be the you know this create inside this use context method this should be the thing you need to be passing inside that method so let's take the ctx and let's just import it right we have imported it and we have uh, assigned the CTX inside the use context argument and now we can be able to be structured so for example we were passing a method over here so let's just copy it and let me paste it over here now if I come over here and write console.log to do and let me just come over here inside the app.js and include the child component then you will see that we are getting our to do which we which are coming from the context api provider right so uh, what i want to do is i want to render this element inside our ch you know child component so for that let's just come over here first let me wrap it up inside the container because it is it is not looking good at all at all so we can do something like this index of css dot container with 100 percent and max width let's say 100 pixels and margin is going to be auto and padding is going to be 30 pixels all right now yeah, so it's looking more good <laughs> much better now so uh, let's just close it inside the child.js what we need to do we need to render the list so for that we can come over here all right to do dot math to do and then in the second parameter index I will be you know returning a p tag and inside the p tag let's just pass off whenever we are rendering a list and keep props is necessary so inside this we will define the index and in the in our html we will define the to do right so let me just remove it All right, as you can see that we are getting first, second, and third. But the thing is, we have, you know, defined the add to do method as well. So we can be able to use it inside our component as well. So let me just come over here. And what we will do, or inside the there, let's create a button add dummy state right and this will take a method handle click let's create a handle click function Cons handle click and this will what it will do it will just call a add to do method and let's just come over here and write dummy state all right so now you will notice when i will click this add dummy state button 
then it will add the dummy state inside our list. So basically, this is how you can implement the context API inside your React application. This is very simple. Well, um, we use, uh, why do we, the question is, why do we use context API? We can be able to implement the, implement all these inside the, you know, parent component as well inside the app.js, and then we can pass it as a prop as well. But let me ask you one thing. For example, if you do have a 50 components, then it is not a good practice to do the props drilling like that, right? So for that, for a better state management, you can create a context API and you can define all the states over there and then you can fetch it using the use context method. So this is it from this video. I will see you in the next one with a very amazing topic. Have a nice day.